Well, today we're going to have a little discussion on uh, a certain narrow aspect of synthetic division, and that is a div a synthetic division where fractional zeros are concerned. And um, this is where I know some students have a little problem uh, with um, things like fractional zeros, because what is it that you do with those factors anyway? Uh, it certainly uh, becomes a rather gray area for a lot of people, but it's actually not gray at all. First of all, let's take a sample problem. 2x cubed minus x squared minus 25x minus 12, and we're going to divide that by the binomial 2x minus 1. And uh, as you can see, that's going to have a um, fractional 0, uh, negative 1 half to be precise. And we're going to compare two methods. We're going to compare long division, the result from long division, against the result from synthetic division. So we're going to do long division first. Okay, let's set it up. Okay, so we just set it up the way we normally would by having 2x plus 1 all divided by our um, cubic. And, of course, to get 2x cubed, we have to divide 2x by x squared, and that means that the other thing is x squared. Now, remember, you're subtracting x squared from negative x squared to get negative 2x squared. And uh, now we just subtract 2x to get our next, oh no, not subtract 2x, but subtract x to get uh, to the next level. So that becomes negative 2x squared, and that becomes now negative x times positive 1 is negative x. Now we're adding, we're subtracting, sorry, negative x to negative 25x, which means we're adding a positive to get negative 24x. We bring down the minus 12, and that goes in negative 12 times and you'll see it works out evenly. Let's try uh, now comparing this result, uh, which seems to have worked out perfectly, to um, synthetic division. Okay, here's the result with synthetic division. So recall that in order for synthetic division to work, we need a single number. So 2x plus 1 uses a 0 minus 1 half, and as you know from synthetic division, we have to use the 0. So negative 1 half becomes what we divide into. And remember that instead of subtracting as you do in normal division, you add, which is actually less error prone. So let's write out the coefficients. That's going to be our 2x cubed minus x squared minus 25x minus 12, uh, all written with their coefficients only. We bring down the 2, that, and we multiply the 2 by minus a half. We get negative 1. We add that to itself. We get negative 2. Now dividing that by minus 2 is easy. We get positive 1 from that. And uh, that makes minus 24, which is divisible by negative 1 half to make positive 12. Oops, that should be positive 12. Add those together, add that to negative 12, you get 0, same as subtraction. Now, lo and behold, what are we getting here? This is 2x squared minus 2x minus 24. Well, that's different from the result we got before. 2x squared minus 2x minus 24 is actually exactly two times the correct factor. It should be x squared minus x minus 12. And here's the result for long division for comparison.
So now we have to resolve this problem. Why is it that we get two different answers when we do one by one method and the other by the other method? Well, it's actually perfectly logical. Now to summarize, the result we got from long division was to say that 2x cubed minus x squared minus 25x uh, minus 12 is equal to 2x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x minus 12. And comparing that with synthetic division, we said that that same cubic was actually equal to x minus a half, or sorry, x plus a half, uh, which we'll write uh, naively as 2x plus 1, just to show you that the other factor that we obtain from synthetic division makes no sense. Both of these answers cannot be correct, and it's a synthetic division answer that's wrong. And that's because minus a half was the number we actually used. So that really uh, we were treating this as if it was x plus a half. So it's very important to remember that minus a half was used in the division. And so we kind of pretended that x plus a half was the factor, which by the factor theorem it ought to be uh, 2x plus 1 as being the correct factor, going by the factor theorem. So what we actually used was basically we were saying that x plus a half, or x, yes, x plus a half was the factor. And uh, what did we obtain? Well, if x plus a half is one of the factors, then the other factor makes sense then. The other factor should be double. And that's because x plus a half is one half of what the, that factor should be. So what we're doing here is where the, the actual, to get the correct factorization, we have to multiply the first factor by two and divide the second factor by two. In effect, we're getting the equivalent expression but with the correct factoring this time. And there you have it. The correct factorization by synthetic division and a little bit of insight gives you 2x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus a half minus 12.